Welcome. In this video, we're going to see if we can get this virtual copy of the chicken to fix some of these issues and get it ready for print. So here we have um, this chicken that was on top of a, um, it's like a, a screen you put, you know, you project onto. Uh, you can just pull that down, set it on a table, and then you normally have a pretty even background. However, there's some problems with this one. We had some issues down here at the bottom, some issues on the right. We're going to see if we can fix those today. So we're going to zoom in. Uh, I'm going to do control plus here and zoom in to where we can see uh, this little problem area. Now what I'm going to do is switch over to the spot removal tool and the spot removal tool acts kind of like a paintbrush. I'm going to make my brush size bigger Let's see, mm, about like that. And I'm just going to paint over this area. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to guess at what's the best place for this to be um, uh, replaced with. It's going to find pixels from elsewhere in the picture. If I um, zoom out here, it looks like it's taking some pixels from way over here. Now, if you don't like what it comes up with, or if it guesses wrong, you can move this source to a different spot. And so now it's got a different spot there. And so now it's being uh, replaced with uh, some pixels from over here on underneath and on the left. Now, I like that. Uh, next, we'd want to um, work through some other areas. We might find another place that we have to clone later. Uh, to fix, but we're just going to move forward here. And we can adjust the white balance. We can change it to auto, see what that does. So that warms it up a little bit, yeah. And then we can work down into our tone and we'll try auto on it. And that makes a big difference, okay. Brightens up a lot of it. And uh, let's go ahead and check out what the uh, clarity is looking right. So Let's see here. I'm going to get off this tool and I'm going to move up here and zoom in. And let's see how are we doing here. Maybe increase the clarity a little bit. There we go. All right. And I think he looks pretty good. And what we're going to do now is see if we can zoom out. I'm going to do a control minus here to zoom out. And at this point, what we can do is maybe work on some uh, fixing of some issues. So I don't like uh, all these little wrinkles in some of these spots. There's some stuff I want to definitely get rid of, like this line, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the spot removal brush. And I'm going to make my brush be a little smaller here. And I'm going to see if I can work right along this line. And I'm going to have it pick from up here to see if I can get rid of some of those issues. I'm going to do another one over here. I'm going to paint right here. And I want it to move, just get from just above here so it'll fix that one. Now let's take a look. Uh, we can hit the um, backslash key that's above my enter key on my keyboard and see the original. All right, so I'm liking that. And let's go ahead and um, just kind of move around the picture and see if there's any other issues that are standing out as some type of a problem. Let's see here. Got a little spot there. I'll tap that one. All right. And it looks like some little line work over here it needs to be adjusted. And we'll take that from further out, maybe up here. And good. Now, what I might do at this point is um, zoom out. Uh, and what I want to do is maybe do some adjustments to fix some of these wrinkles that are in here. So what I want to do is use the um, adjustment brush, which will paint um, into a particular area. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to turn up the exposure a lot here. And I'm just going to try and uh, check for one more thing. I want to make sure that my auto mask is on. If auto mask is on, what it's going to do is it's going to protect the object and allow me to paint around it this adjustment. And so you can kind of see 
how it's coming in, but it's not changing the actual picture. Now, uh, obviously that's way too much. I can back that off as far as its exposure goes and see what happens here. Let's see, and we're gonna make some of the um, shadows go up in brightness and turn the exposure back down. So let's see how that looks. Um, and you can also then add another one. If you'd like to add another point, you can click New, and we can create another point here. And in this point, I'm gonna paint some more here and see if I can yeah, get that to just kind of go away. Um, we can also work it uh, up higher here if we wanted to. Um, let's see what happens when we back that off. Let's see, something like that. Yeah, I see I'm getting this, but I keep getting this little guy down here coming in. So what I'm gonna do is jump back to the spot removal and see if I can zoom in and remove this spot here with a spot elsewhere. All right, I think that's gonna work for that. Let's go ahead and get another spot over here and we'll have that removed from over here. And we will feather that more, right? And let's paint this one and we'll go ahead and move that one up and over too and we'll have that be feathered as well. All right, let's take a look at Let's take a look at how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and um, turn off that tool and I'm going to zoom back out and take a look. And so you can create your own little scene just by adjusting these features and uh, you want to get rid of any issues or problems with the picture. You can go back and forth between spot healing and correcting the color uh, anytime you need. And that's it for this video.